We're going to take a look at two women here. Okay, one who has succeeded at life and is unfortunately towards, let's be honest, let's be realistic about this, towards the end of her life, a well-fulfilled life. And another who is, I don't know, trying to transition to become an alien to live forever because Madonna's weird and I don't like her at all. But anyways, a Pennsylvania woman about to turn 100. Congratulations, that's a huge accomplishment. Welcomes 100th great-grandchild after almost skipping out on having a family to become a none which is kind of funny it's uh, there's a lot of parallels to be drawn with modern women and then this lady right here margaret uh, margaret caller 99 years old of bluebell pennsylvania congratulations on all of her wealth i don't know how much money she has but she has a lot of family around her and she looks just oh so happy caressing her 100th great grandchild like okay there is no replacing that feeling i would imagine Okay, like I can empathize with that situation. Obviously, I don't have any kids or anything like that and no hack jokes on top of that. But there's a look on her face. There's the expression of contentment and overwhelming joy that you can see on a person's face when they know that they have made the right decisions in life and they are manifesting the fruits of the labor after all these years. Children, grandchildren, great grandchildren or probably she has great great grandchildren let's be completely honest she's a hundred after all if you have a good working relationship as a woman with the rest of your family you have a tribe that will protect you from the outside world you have that security you have all of that provision there's nothing more that you want in your entire life at the base intrinsic level sure there's women today who think that they can be a boss bitch go out there and get the bag and uh, yeah we'll just go ahead and freeze our eggs not knowing that like four to six percent of frozen eggs can end up bearing proper children and even your old fucking decrepit ass might not be able to carry that kid to term and half of your eggs are gone by the time that you're 30 and any pregnancy over the age of 35 is considered high risk but no 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 just continue to chase the bag at some fucking who gives a shit job for the rest of your life because i have a career you'd make fucking just above minimum wage just fucking shut your mouth you'd be happier with a family like this lady right here not telling any women to go out there and settle okay just manifest that girl i'm sure you can find that point some odd percent of person that you're really looking for that six and a half foot tall chad who makes a uh, hundred thousand dollars plus per year hell maybe even more because you know what you've got that bachelor's degree and you fucking deserve it girl of course he's got six back abs and he's got over a six inch long dick and he's everything that you want and god forbid he'd have tastes outside of only you of course and you deserve the best in life right even when you're 30 32 33 years old and you can't quite compete with your same self that you were at 23 years old when you were out there whoring around no 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 the the life that you live okay all of those whole years all that time best spent on your back or knees and hands or being held up against the wall however you wanted to do it you got to experience it all except for fulfillment after your peak sexual market value years of course you lived everything that you wanted to you got to manifest it girl but you never ever ever going to experience the happiness that this lady is right here Pennsylvania woman on the verge of becoming a centenarian just welcomed her 100th great grandchild into the world. Margaret Kohler, 99 of Bluebell, will celebrate her 100th birthday in just a couple of months. She was able to mark the occasion earlier this month with the birth of her 100th great grandchild, Kohler William. Named after her late husband. That's really special. That's awfully nice. Okay. I'm just thinking of how lucky I am, Margaret told NBC Philadelphia, as she held the newest addition to her family, which also includes 11 children. Holy shit. It's a vagina, not a clown car, but good on you, I guess. You got to have a big family. Okay. Uh, and 56 grandchildren. Holy fuck. Those were, that's a lot of fucking in that family. Jesus. Uh, she makes the effort to be there for every baptism and graduation. That's, that's really cool. Okay. That's awesome. Like most of my extended family, well, I haven't seen most of them in, oh Lord. Uh, last time I seen anybody in my extended family, they were withering away from stage four cancer in a hospital ward. Does that count? Um, no, but outside of that, most of my, one side of my family is practically dead. And the other one I haven't seen in... About half my life? Uh, maybe intermittent experiences. Oh, I would say, uh, I can actually tell you what year it is. Not anything in particular. 2010. Uh, father's 50th birthday celebration. Outside of that, uh, yeah, it's been about 12 years since I've seen anybody, I think, 
in on or around that area. And again, I don't think I'm missing out on any of that stuff to begin with, but that just goes to show you that men and women are different. And again, you can see Margaret's face right there. Okay, she's smiling, doesn't look like she would rather be anywhere else in the entire world other than spending time with her extended family and her great grandchild, who she probably can tell you about all of them, okay? And that would be an entire day's affair. And that's something that she finds ultimate fulfillment in. She's not out there chasing happiness. She had happiness a long time ago. And now, making good life decisions, she's found contentment. And that's something and, and, uh, that no amount of dick is ever going to provide. Although indirectly, thanks to D's going and V's, it produced the hundred great grand. Anyways, uh, that family though, now almost didn't happen as Margaret considered joining a convent and becoming a nun, which is funny because think of how many families like this have been prevented because of women in today's day and age kind of adopted this philosophy, but instead of joining a convent, uh, decided to join the streets and rack up, well, the hundred bodies. Ended up pushing off all of their fertile years. Weren't able to crank out 11 kids like Margaret, okay? Might be able to squeak out one thanks to IVF treatment and some frozen eggs and some sperm samples and a whole bunch of fucking Petri dishes to mix together something that'll probably come out with the tism. And another thing, too, she's about to be a hundred and unless that's a wig, like, she looks awfully good for a hundred. Like, I'm not gonna take a shot or anything but geez she's looking awfully spry for 100 okay i know you've probably seen those videos on youtube of interviewing people that are like 99 100 and 100 plus on how things have changed throughout the years but she looks not she doesn't look nearly as decrepit as most of the people that are interviewed there good on her good on her she applied to join the local convent when she was a junior in high school she uh told six abc back in 2015 but in the early 40s, when she met Mil William Calder, ah, hmm, imagine that. I don't want to have kids, actually. And then she met William Calder. I want to have his kids. Hmm, imagine that. That phenomenon has gone on for how long at this point? Anyways, of Maniunk. Uh, is that another place in Pennsylvania? I don't know Pennsylvania geography, but I'll take your word for it. Who said she talked to me, uh, who she said talked me out of it. Oh yeah, a couple then welcomed their first child in the baby boom after World War II when Margaret knew she wanted to have a large family. Uh, we can tell, we've, we've got the receipts there. Uh, it looks like they accomplished that. Old Will was laying down pipe. I wanted to have a big family, she told ABC6 News. I think it's difficult being an only child. It's lonely. I don't have to worry about that in that family. Originally, she said, I figured I wanted 12, but after I started to have them, I wasn't sure I wanted to have that many. Instead, she settled on 11. Oh, so she's at least a little bit of a quitter there. Anyways, over the course of nearly 20 years, holy, they in turn gave her 56 grandchildren who are now the parents of 100 great grandchildren. Just goes to show you the drop off there, okay, when it comes to people cranking out kids, okay? Then you can also take a look at uh, average age of marriage and average age of first children that are out there like those years just keep on getting pushed back generation after generation now it sits that for age of first marriage for men and women okay for men it's about 30 and for women it's about 28 late 28 early 29 somewhere in that area depends on if you're round or not i don't quite know the specifics on first birth but and considering most kids in the United States, I think the stats right now are 40% of children are born out of wedlock. Let that sink in for a moment why you just have these disassociated, disassembled families and why uh, you're very unlikely to see a family tree this extensive. But no, just look generationally, okay? 11 from the foundation here. Don't know how many kids are in her family, like if she's a... Also from her own well-staffed baseball team. 11 kids. 11 kids created 56 grandchildren. That's what? Just a shade over five per? That's about half, okay? And then of those grandchildren, a uh, little under two per? Like just the way that this stuff has dropped off. And you'll wonder why Western countries are struggling mightily when it comes to upping their birth rates, their replacement numbers. And if it wasn't for the mass amounts of immigration in the United States, uh, it would be at a below replacement levels. You take a look at uh, most of Asia and why China's in its bad spot that it is right now is because it's so terribly below replacement 
emblazement. It's like 1.4, I think, in China. Like, it's really terrible, thanks to the one-child policy for so long, for so many generations, okay? And then another reason why China's not exactly all that willing to go to war with anywhere else around the world and why I think it so desperately needs a working relationship with Russia is because their average age is nearly geriatric. They are on the cusp of just falling apart. You take a look at projected populations into, I think, the next decade, uh, 2040 or 2050 even. Like, China slips precipitously down that list, okay? There's a couple of countries in Africa who they're just cranking out kids at... Uh, Margaret's level, as well as India. India rises up, takes China's spot because they're not there already, they're on their way up. But birth rates are important, okay? And it just kind of takes a, a tangent. But again, there's a lot of source material here. And yeah, not only did she have a huge family, she also had a loving relationship, something else that's totally lacking. Somebody that she was married to for, oh lord, the guts of 60 plus years, okay? Because they, uh, William and uh, Margaret met in the early 40s after World War II was over, they had their first kids, so depends on when they got married or whatever. Uh, she had been credited for having a big family, keeping her active, making her feel blessed every holiday even after her husband died in 2008. Come and take a wild guess. She probably has a one body count, okay? Her husband, that's it. She has an extensive family that keeps her happy, keeps her active, keeps her fulfilled. It worked out beautifully, she said in 2015. That's amazing. That's really amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this lady's life choices. Well, on the other hand, you have total disasters like Madonna, okay? And I know earlier this week, I didn't want to dump too hard on some other actors who have faced some pretty bad situations. Uh, Madonna's a completely different case because I don't know what the hell she's trying to do at this point. She's 63 years old with a grill... Um, trying to look more like E.T. every day. She's a... Man, this is what happens when you just take too much random dick. This is when you go on the completely opposite direction, okay? This is when you think that you can be a bad boss bitch, right? She's the queen of pop. Just goes to show you that the kings always do it better, right? Because <laughs> the king of pop, Michael Jackson, like, you know, even with his fucking fake allegations against him. I don't believe any of that shit for a fucking second. Fuck you, fight me. Okay, you got the king of pop, you got the king of rock and roll. <laughs> and then you got, what, the queen of pop who's going on late night shows in a t-shirt and baggy fucking sweatpants that's better than last time when she hopped on the table and what the fuck was she doing oh lord she's just an embarrassment of a human being but this is what happens when you've been married multiple times you've been pumped and dumped thrown around the scene okay you just keep marketing your sexuality you never progress past your hoe phase you try to make it last for as long as fucking possible sure she cranked out a couple of kids okay i had to go check myself because it involves one of her four adopted kids okay she adopted four africans back when that was the fucking fad back in, for celebrities in the early 2000s okay she's got that hairy titted or hairy armpitted uh, i'm sure she probably has hair around her nipples too you ever been with a bitch like that that's fucking weird no uh what's her name laudris or whatever okay and she's also got a son from her relationship or her uh her marriage with Guy Ritchie, which, what the fuck were you thinking back in the day, my guy? Decent director, he's done a lot of good stuff, but not exactly the best choice in women. Actually, I don't know his dating history, and it would be impossible to track down. It's not as bad as Madonna, whose roster rivals that of, I was gonna say, an NFL team, but uh, let's be frank. Does anybody, man, if you were to peg Madonna's body count... What are you thinking? Aggressive two, uh, low three figures? Like, I don't think it's in the thousands, okay? But I wouldn't be shocked if it's 150. I don't think I'd be terribly far off. But she's failed as a woman. Let's just get this all back on track, okay? Margaret won, okay? Madge failed. While appearing on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, oh good, I'm glad you added that little bit of a description because The Tonight Show um, with Johnny Carson, oh, and then it just ended after that. And imagine that, oh, looked like they revived it here. That's weird. Uh, music and style icon, she's a style icon? Um, is, is whore a style? Okay. Uh, Madonna revealed her son, David Banda, 16, is already outdressing her. All right, does he have the drip, as the kids say? 
He can pull off any outfit and look swag as you know. Imagine being 63 years old and saying that sentence. I feel embarrassed for myself at 32 years old for saying he looks as swag you know. It's really irritating. He wears my clothes. Wait a minute. So, what? So, what? Okay. He wears my clothes and looks better in them. Uh, he can even wear a dress and look better and look butch. What? What What happened? What happened? So, sorry. What? What? What happened? Oh, Lord. They understand spending time with your mom, but trying on dresses together? Oof. Oof. Honda. All right. Who is known for a gender fluid fashion choices? No idea. I'll take your word for it. Stole the show in a bright red three stripe dress from her dress from Adidas. Uh, Adidas just puts three stripes on everything that they had. Did you really need to put the whole the three stripes scripter on there? Did that need that? Anyways, the teen paired the eye catching look with a pair of yellow sunglasses, layered silver jewelry, black sneakers, and a whole lot of embarrassment for him and his. Ugh. But David inherited more from his mother than just his fashion sense. Oh lord, his lust for dick. Uh, the le <sighs> fuck off. That okay. That the like a virgin singer. Okay, if she's still attributed, rather attributing that as her biggest musical accomplishment. That song came out before I was born. Okay, well before her son was adopted or conceived somewhere in Africa. Are you really the queen of pop or can um, Lady Gaga just take that title at this point? Because she's well on her way, but she's just like a lot more talented than Madonna. Let's keep it a stack. Went on Fallon to tell, say that her son, whom she adopted in 2006, is working on music of his own. Oh wait, I can't wait. What cover of Boy George songs is he going to be doing? Uh, he's going to end up being one of your guests, a 63 year old. 63 years old wearing as much jewelry well a uh, discount jewelry i was gonna make a mr t joke but at least he has the audacity to wear gold but i don't know she's got tin or whatever the guy outside the front of the tonight show studios is peddling i'm sure all of that is real i don't mean that just about the jewelry i just mean all of it i'm sure it's all real those might be actually I bet you the t-shirt's really cotton other than that, oh, uh, he's gonna end up, oh yeah, being a guest, uh, he says she has everything, oh, he has everything needed to be a star. Yeah, he's gay and black. That's everything in today's day and age. Ugh. Fallon agreed with the queen of pop, <laughs> saying, he's got it. He's got magic, he's funny, he's charming, he's athletic. Okay there, Joe Biden. He's a good-looking dude. Uh, fucking, keep it above board, he's 16 years old, you old drunk. During the same interview, the hit maker. When was the last time Madonna had a, a hit? Okay. Uh, she had that one song that was in the second or third Austin Powers movie. But again, that's early 2000s for Christ's sakes. When was the last time she's been relevant? Okay. She believed her career was over with after accidentally flashing the crowd during her performance of Like a Virgin at the first ever MTV Music Video Awards in 1984. 1984. Well, it's hilarious you'd bring up that year, but even still, 1984 showing her ass. And now, in 2022, now she just acts like one. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.